welcome back to Giddy Up Art Studio. Today we are continuing our contour self-portrait. So last time we were together, we got the contour portrait onto our paper. Visit the last video for reference. And today we are working with watercolor pencil. Watercolor pencils are really fun. And you're gonna see me just go right at it right here. And so what I'm doing is I'm not coloring the entire area with my pencil. I'm just doing some thick outlines, creating some reservoirs of color. Uh, my shirt is kind of a black, so this is like a brownish black color that I chose. And I'm going to, for this application, I'm going to outline the lines of my shirt. So as you remember in my photo, I was actually wearing a black pearl snap shirt with red flowers. So I'm gonna make this, because it's my choice, a black shirt with red flowers. However, I want this to be a little more expressive and a little more fun. So I can choose to make my skin and my hair in the background any color I want. So I'm gonna mix it up and why not use a fun color? for my skin. So I'm going to choose turquoise or blue. And you'll see I will just outline my neck and anywhere there might be some shadow with that color. But remember this is your piece of art. So you can choose whatever color you want things to be. If you want your shirt to be something wild, make it wild. If you want your skin to be something more realistic, Make it realistic. It is your right as the artist to make the choice, and that's part of the fun of creating art. So if you've never used watercolor pencil before, what you're doing is you are creating little bits of pigment that you will eventually get wet, and you will drag that color in order to fill up uh, the rest of the area. You'll see that in just a moment. One complaint that I hear from students sometimes is that their color isn't bright enough. So you can see how my application is kind of thicker lines because I wanted darker colors. But if I want just a light color of red, for example, to make pink, then I'm just going to do a thin line of color. You're dragging that, as you can see, using the water now, dragging that color around and blending it. Something you might want to play with is putting two separate colors, perhaps even three, in one area. My hair, for example, you see, is I wanted a fiery red, reddish orange. And so I put both red and yellow, and now as I'm blending, it's creating this orange undulating into yellow and back to red, and I think that that's a really fun thing. Okay, time for a hot tip. Please notice as I'm dipping my brush in water, I'm kind of wiping it off before I touch the paper. I do not want too much water on my brush. Watch this, I'm gonna dip, wipe, and then smear the color. Dip, wipe, blend the color. I don't want big drips and drips of water on there. As you can see in this demo, I'm not using the watercolor in my smaller areas, the lips and eyes. I'll wait for my piece to dry, and then afterwards I'll go back in with some regular colored pencils and to hit up those details in a very controlled way. What I appreciate about watercolor and watercolor pencil is that we get to explore this really fluid and expressive medium. I mean, every mark is quite frankly a surprise. Using this paint to make a self-portrait will ensure a totally unique piece. The important thing to do is to experiment and have fun. For more information, visit giddyupartstudio.com. Yeah!